Yeah. We're here at uh, Lake Murray, uh, Murray Reservoir. I fished this lake a couple times. This is where I got my first largemouth bass ever. This is gonna be the first KBF tournament of the year. Those guys are already in the water. I <laughs> I got here a little bit late, thinking I was I was just gonna shoot video, uh, but now that I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and, and participate. That's the plan. Let's roll. Oh yeah. There, there are fish in this lake. <laughs> Woohoo! Got it. Nice. Thanks, Roman. One less, one less hook to later. lose. Later. Nice, dude. Yes, Woohoo! It's the rig. <laughs> oh, it's secret, guys. Oh, block that. <laughs> block that. That's good. <laughs> Finally. Got one? Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Here's the one. Or the no skunk. <laughs> oh man. Finally! They're gonna look really big. <laughs> oh, I gotta measure this guy. Alright, see you later. So, 
We're gonna start off with the big bass. We had a tie for big bass <coughs> between Steve and Larry. So somebody got arm wrestle for it. We yeah. had night. We had night. <laughs> we had ninety in there. So we'll do forty-five. All right, forty-five, and those were two uh, twenty-inch bass. Uh, with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Richard. We'll do third place. Third place is seventy. That guy, Aaron. Oh, yeah. Write this down. Yeah, yeah. 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 And he came in oh, early. Congratulations. Thank you. Right. All right. Nice. All right. Second place. Second place is Jake. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Second place, I Tim. Of course. Right. Nice. 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 And first place, Steve, uh, with a nice, cool one hundred and eighty dollars. Hell yeah! Nice. Good, job. Good job. Well done. Um, hey, so this was the the first event of the season. The next event again will be next month. Uh, I'll post it on the website. It's going to be the How event at the Mission Bay Classic. Um, we don't do any kind of money input on that one, but it does count for Angler of the Year points. Um, so again, let me get a little bit more information. And I'll get that out online. Ten foot and shallower, and our round tullies all day. Yeah, that's it. Seiko's okay. weightless and with weight, both weighted hook, non-weighted hook. Easy day. Dude. Pretty much. Hey, big it. money. What's up? All ten Seiko's wacky rigged on eight pound test, right line, right in the twos. There you go. Um, other than that, hey, great turnout. Appreciate everybody coming out today. Uh, enjoying this great weather, <laughs> right? And I, I know there's people on the East Coast and down South that would pay to have to suffer through this even today. Oh, man. Nothing is dry out there right now. It's so wet. Everything is like, it's like a drizzle that's consistent and relentless. And every single part was wet. Like, my, my whole shirt got drenched. My pants were wet. It's hard to film with this camera. I kept looking for places that were dry on my shirt to like wipe the lens and stuff, but it was just like everything was wet. So I'm in the car. Kayaks on the kayaks on the car. I'm in the car. It feels great to be dry and starting to warm up. My hands are like cold and clammy the whole day. It felt like they're always wet. They were never really dry. Um, but yeah, it was a pretty fun event. Um, I got a fish finally after talking to Steve. Steve hooked it up with the Intel. Um, I was just kind of fishing blind, throwing everything I had, kind of just trying to fish and <laughs> just do what I could. Uh, but I met up with Steve. I saw his. I saw we. You guys saw he caught one right in front of me, and I was like, "All right, Steve, let me know what, what I need to do." So he showed me some ways, showed me what I needed to throw, and uh, I didn't have the right kind of hooks, so I just improvised with whatever hooks I did have, and ended up doing a, weed, a weedless, weightless uh, Senko Texas rig. Um, so yeah, that's the way I caught one, my one bass. Probably be doing more of these freshwater events. It's just a little expensive, especially for the sh like here in California. You have to get on the you have to be off the water before sunset, and uh, you can't start until like about sunrise. So during the winter, it's kind of to me, it's not worth it to pay the ten bucks to fish for like six, seven hours. So uh, now that the days are getting longer, and these events are not that often, but. Uh, I would rather be able to practice and learn freshwater, but it's just a lot of just a lot of uh, a lot of fees in fishing on, on our lakes here. So you guys know me; I like to fish set salt water because you can go in the salt water, you can fish all day, all night, as long as you want, and you just have to pay your regular license fee, like your regular yearly license. It's a big commitment as far as like uh, money goes um, to get good, right? So if I was if I were to fish as much as I fish, if I were to fish freshwater as much as I fish salt water. <laughs> I'd probably I'd probably be broke um, but yeah so I'm gonna st still continue to do these kayak bass fishing events for the, with the freshwater guys because they're pretty fun um, and I'll just you know I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not in it to win it I'm just in it to have fun uh, because I don't have the resources to to put the, put in the time to get good at freshwater so I'm just gonna fish what I can do what I can and have fun um, but I will continue to do uh, fresh wa uh, freshwater and saltwater. If you're new to fishing, especially saltwater fishing, uh, check out a PDF I put out. It's called 25. It's called 25 Fishing Tips for New Anglers. It's a PDF that's free for download. All you gotta do is sign up to my email list. Just go to RomanCastle.com/list, sign up, and then you'll be able to sign up to the email list. 
uh, as soon as you confirm your email, I'll send you the 25 fishing tips for beginners PDF. So most of the stuff I talk about on the PDF is for saltwater, but some of those techniques can be applied to freshwater. So, all right guys, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.